Tonight we bring you the final four in the hunt for the Eastern Region Baseball Championship. First, Great Bridge High School against Kellum. Great Bridge wearing green. That's junior pitcher Cooper Jones. He came in off the bench to pitch for Great Bridge. Gets the strikeout to end the inning. Fourth inning. Great Bridge up 3-1. to one, And the Wildcats add to that lead on this hit by Austin Groves. Preston Grissom scores easily from third. 4-1 to one, Great Bridge. More Great Bridge offense in the fifth. It's Grissom with the liner up the middle. Jimmy Cody's going to hustle home for the Wildcats to extend the lead to four runs. Great Bridge scores three in the first and that's really all the Wildcats would need. They get a great pitching performance from Cooper Jones and they beat Kellum tonight eight to one. Great Bridge advances to tomorrow's region final but more importantly today's win means the Wildcats are automatically invited to the Virginia State playoffs. Well you know we've uh, had a drought for a little while and uh, it was one of our goals coming into the season. Uh, things got to lay out for you. You got to get a little lucky and make a good few good plays here and then get some timely hits. But uh, we feel like we're you know, where we should be, and uh, we're fortunate to be there. We've worked hard this whole season. Our whole team has come together. We've, we've brought this whole season together through all of our hitting, our pitching. It's all come together. It means everything to go back for us. It's tradition and pride. Meanwhile, in tonight's second semifinal, Eastern District champion Churchland looking to advance to the states for the first time in school history. The Truckers facing Nansman River. Nansman River in red and the Warriors would strike first. Junior first baseman Travis Johnson swinging the hot bat tonight. Johnson rips one to the gap in left center, scoring two. Nansman River jumps out to a 2-0 lead early on and would add to it in the third. Once again, it was Travis Johnson with two men on. Johnson sends one to right center field. This time scoring Trevor Riggs. A big night for the Warriors. Nasman River is moving on to the state tournament with tonight's 7-2 victory over Churchland and will play Great Bridge in the championship game tomorrow night. Here is your Eastern Region Baseball Championship game. An all-southeastern district affair. Nasman River from Suffolk against Great Bridge from Chesapeake tomorrow night at 6 at Old Dominion University. Group AA Region 1 semifinals. A great showing by our teams in the Bay Rivers District. York beats Powhatan 3-2 in 11 innings. York earns a trip to the state playoff. So does Jamestown. The Eagles with a one-run win over Cab. So it's York against Jamestown in the region final. But again, both teams advance to the state playoffs. If there was any question that the two-time defending state champion Cox Falcons were the number one team in the nation, it has been answered this week in the Eastern Region Soccer Tournament. Yesterday in the quarterfinals, Cox beat Maury 7-2. Today in the semifinals, they shot out Hickory 7 to nothing. How hot was it? Well, the teams were given a mandatory water break midway through the first half, but nothing could cool down the Falcons. Cox wearing white, number 18. Chris Alveston with a goal. Cox, the number one ranked high school team in the nation by ESPN. Drew Hartzell, number 27, got into the act with a goal as Cox remains unbeaten and heads to the regional championship game on Friday. Now, in the second boys game of the night, Indian River against Kellum, the Braves of Indian River wearing blue. That game was tied 1-1 at the end of the first half, but the second half was all Indian River. Brandon Eaton, the 10th grader with a nice move in front of the defender, making it 3-1 Braves. Kellum, though, comes storming back, forcing overtime, then penalty kicks, and that's when Indian River won it, making all of its penalty kicks the official final Indian River 4 Kellum three. Meanwhile, in the first girls regional semifinal game tonight, Grassfield and Red looking for its first fifth of the state, taking on Kellum. This one went all the way to double overtime before there was a goal, and what a pretty one it was. That's the senior number 21, Samantha Phillips, breaking away from the pack, sending her team to the states with this goal with less than a minute to go in double overtime. Time to celebrate. Grassfield going to the state tournament for the first time in school history. What a proud moment it was for the senior, Samantha Phillips. Uh, I was just hoping it would go over her head, and it did. And once it did, I was like, this is my time to score, and that's what happened. This is the best gift I could get as a senior my last year, and we're going to states, so it's our first time. It's only our fourth year as a school, and it feels awesome. Samantha scores the only goal in the game, and Grassfield wins it one to nothing in the other AAA region final. Cox three to one winners over Hickory, so it's Cox against Grassfield Friday at 5:30 for the Eastern Region Championship. But again, both teams have already punched their tickets to the state tournament.